It is the end of August 2024, and we are seeing interest rates have fallen to the lowest point that they've been in over 14 months. Now, that makes a big difference on your mortgage payment. Um, we recently saw, it wasn't that long ago, that we were approaching 8% on interest rates. And, um, you know, high set, I saw people getting locked at 7.8, stuff like that. Um, more recently, I'm here in 5.9. Uh, 6.1 on FHA and VA loans uh, and conventional loans just a little bit above that. So even at six and a quarter, we're looking pretty good as far as all of that goes. Um, but I want, there's this one thing I want you to understand about this is that there's a lot of talk that interest rates are going to drop in September. So a lot of people are sitting on the fence right now waiting for this rate drop in September. What's important to know is is that the Fed funds rates, which is what you hear, that, that's what changes when you hear rates are dropping. And that does affect the borrowing costs um, kind of across the board. However, mortgage interest rates do not follow the Fed funds rates. Mortgage interest rates historically follow the 10 year treasury yield with kind of a 2%, 2 percent, two and a half percent buffer above whatever the 10 year treasury is. So that's why the rates are as low as they are right now is a 10 year treasury yield is has dropped to an all time low well a 12 month low. Um, and so it's already factoring in the fact that everyone knows interest rates are going to drop in September. So my tip to you is now is the time to take action. If you're waiting for September. What's going to happen is it's going to be in the news. There's going to be articles written about it. It's going to be on the, the nighttime news and they're going to be saying interest rates are dropping and everyone is going to get excited and want to be into the market. You know what that does? That drives prices up. So more competition, more actual active buyers is going to drive prices up. So if you wait from now until I think it's September 18th or 17th when the Fed funds, uh, when the Federal Reserve meets, um, they will make that drop. News will go out. And guess what? In mortgage interest rates really aren't going to drop along with that. They've already that, that that drop has already been factored in. So you can wait for that. My concern is that home prices will go up because of demand that weekend or a couple weekends after that. A lot of people are going to be out looking at homes and it's going to not be as beneficial to you as right now making an offer. I'll tell you what, I've got a couple of listings and we're not getting a ton of showings. Um, I'm hearing that from all the other agents that I talked to also. So I can tell you that a lot of people are sitting on the sidelines at the moment. It's a great time to make your kind of lower offers and to be able to negotiate on inspection items and everything else. So now's a pretty sweet spot. I just wanted to share that quick tip with you. I'm Andy Hawbaker with Coldwell Banker Realty, Northern Colorado. Hit me up at my website, which is andyhawbaker.com.